hello, you bitter, twisted, necrophilic parrot buggerers. It is me, Sam of SG1, coming at you for another Star Trek, official Starships collection review. Yes, we are doing uh, Real Estate Station, uh, one of the specials, Real Estate Station 47. Yes, yes. Now, um, I have issue with this. Um, well, firstly, they sent me two and they wouldn't accept um, a, re a return, so I've got a spare one. Um, yeah, so, sorry, I should have done that earlier, but man, I'm oddly out of frame. There we go. Um, and so, um, yeah, why have we got this and still not the caretakers are rare? Because it's kind of important because it's what um, put Voyager on the, you know, started its journey and we still haven't got it yet. And there's no confirmation if we're ever going to get one. Uh, it would be nice though. But anyway, I digress. We're going on to this magazine, yes. Nice CG render of the uh, station itself. And so it's Real, it's Real Station 47, type space, subspace relay, function communications, location, uh, IPI, I, IPI, IPI, IPI sector, active 2369, commanded by Lieutenant Keith Rocher. And then we've got another CG render of the, the station itself, as well as a screen cap from the episode. Um, and then we've got the uh, Klingon uh, Kuvat, I believe. The IKC, Ku IKS Kuvat. Um, yeah, it was fairly close to Klingon Empire. Um, then we've got some um, images from the episode. So we've got another view of it there. One with the Enterprise in the background. One with a Klingon, and I can't remember who that Klingon is. Um, Commander Morag, of course. And then we've got some images of the set. And uh, it's just a collection of, um, you know, Starfleet tech, I guess, you know. Um, and then we've got Aquiel Unari. Um, yeah, it's not from a great episode, I'll admit. Um, then we've got some images of the station. Um, so, pretty cool. Uh, we've got some trivia here somewhere. A huge network. <clears throat> Subspace Relay Station communicate with network with unnamed space station relays and any ships that are in range. Ships uh, exploring new regions of space deploy more relays um, connecting them to home. Uh, subspace is a region, region or a dimension where normal uh, limitations of um, four-dimensional physical uh, physics don't apply uh, and signals that travel faster than light. Uh, most Federation communications start through it and uh of a relatively short distances yes so basically it's a like a well, it's called subspace and it's in a layer of space between um no uh, normal space and so every time the ship goes to warp it's passing through that that's why um and communication is sent throughout the galaxy that's why um you know they're all on the same star date they're all on the thingy because if they get out of hand they can always just check the relays and it sets them to the right term and stuff like that um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So designing the relay station, have we got a concept out of it there? Because it originally the model was used for the cryo satellite in um, the Next Generation episode, the Neutral Zone. It's actually a very good episode for season one. Um, and there it is next to the um, for station forty seven as well. So um, yeah, and we've got um, forty seven. In Star Trek, yes, it, 47 appears everywhere. Um, <clears throat> if you watch Star Trek close, you'll notice that um, you'll cover that, you'll discover that the number 47 appears too often to be made completely random. Yeah, it's usually 47 seconds or the ship will explode, or we've got 47 torpedoes left, or we've got, um, you know, 47 years ago, this, that, and the other, or we've got topographical imaging scan 47 47, you know. Um, and then you've got level 47 in the game. Um, uh, why is that 47 in that episode? Oh, 47 sentry pods. Then we've got FGC47. And then we've got um, Q there. Yeah, topographical imaging. Topographical anomaly 4747, yeah. And then it just crops up throughout Star Trek. Not just Next Generation, but Deep Space Nine, um, Voyager as well, um, 47 genetic markers. Um, you know, even Enterprise as well, it pops up, you know, 47 light years away and all that sort of stuff, and 
47 bolt vessels. I'm surprised they didn't use 47 at Wolf 359, but there we are. So, I've got some trivia for you. Yes. Feature the next generation uh, in the episode Aquiel. Uh, it wasn't in any movie, designed by Rick Sternbach. The writers originally thought that Aquiel could become, a, could become a recurring character by the sixth season. They were thinking about showing one of the scenes, a series regular, an ongoing relationship with Jodie. However, um, like a good candidate, however, it seemed when it seemed when it come to it, they didn't like the chemistry between Jodie and Aquiel, so they disbanded the idea. The Next Generation Technical Manual explains uh, the need for network of subspace relay stations includes uh, installations and unmanned stations. We can also saw subspace relays on Deep Space Nine, episode Trinity, um, uh, Destiny, sorry. They, Starfleet, the light's a bit crap in here. Um, yeah, Destiny, where Starfleet Network, uh, work with the Cardassians to establish a permanent link with the Gamma Quadrant. In the Voyager episode, Message in the Bottle, with crew discover that um, the old stations, all, uh, the erosion stations that collect, that stretches all the way to the Alpha Quadrant. So, yeah. So that's what they could be able to talk to Starfleet. So yeah, so that's the magazine. Um, I didn't show you the model itself, but here it is. So join me in part two for a bit of this. <clears throat> and here we have Relay Station 47. And actually, it's a really nice model. But I would want the Caretaker the Rare rather than this one. But anyway, um, you know, it is what it is. So we'll take a closer look. Uh, closer look. A closer look. Um, at the ship itself, and I am sorry, but there we go. There was just a little bit of dirt on the camera, so uh, I was making it all smudgy. So there we go, and here is the station itself, and I think you'll agree it's very nice. Um, yeah, it's very very. We nearly dropped it then. Very good. Well, I've got a spare, so it's all right. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, it's very plain, but then again, it's a space station that's primarily designed to be a relay station, and it could be basically unmanned you know so it doesn't have to be aesthetically pleasing but we'll have a look at the top there i'll just zoom this in and as you can see we've got the um, starfleet insignia there with what appears to be um um windows which are not aligned they're they seem to be all over the place and then we've got the transporter emitters um then again on the other side same thing on the top i think it's probably a navigation beacon it probably flashes um i'm guessing does it say in the book what these sections are because i've got a feeling that the one at the top there might be the command section um let's have a look um no i don't tell you um let's call it the command section so we've got the command section up the top there so that'll be where um you know, the command, command centre is basically the bridge of this system. Uh, oh, no, we got a crew quarters right off the bridge, didn't we? Oh, I could do, still do that, I guess. Uh, here is probably the um, the main bulk. It's like the engineering section, you know, the power car, and all that sort of stuff. We've got um, 47, it's a subspace relay station. You've got some nice um, um, Aztec going on. You've got some nice detail in the blue there. Mm, horrendous join line, but never mind. Um, we've got some like communication equipment. We've got a nice, nice solar panel with some. Uh, oh, exit! You can't really tell uh, in in normal light, but when it's close to the camera, you can actually see they're actually hexagonal. Uh, hexagonal, um, and then you've got some nice, um, you know, um, clamps holding it on. I do like this, um, you know. So that's just the washing machine you can hear. Uh, you've got, you know, what would be the transceiver assembly, I would imagine. And then you've got these two, um, like, sensor arrays. And then you've got some, another transceiver. Um, one of these is on Deep Space Now, which is kind of cool. And then you've got these more different communications, you know, like shortwave, stuff like that. And then we've got here, we've just got some more sort of... Um, Mm, it's nice different um, Aztec in, in there got all these panel details in there and then you've got some more of this blue um, and then you've got another whatever that is maybe uh, another transporter emitter but why would it need three I don't know then you've got like a control thruster at the bottom um, and then you've got more of these panel lines going on down the side but it's an horrendous join line on this one um, and then you've got some sort of um, bulkheads going on 
Again, same thing on this side, Real Estate 47. Um, you've got, I think these probably docking ports. Um, it doesn't seem to have room for a shuttle bay, unless that's the shuttle bay. Could be. Um, I mean, it's it can house a shuttlecraft, so I guess that might be the shuttle bay. But then this one is okay painted. The other one on this side is a little bit off. Yeah, uh, and then you've got this side, which again could be um, real estate station. Well, it is a real estate station, but it could be a um, lab. I'm sorry, the main light in the room is flickering. Sorry about that. Let's try and get it out of frame. There we are. Um, yeah, so we can have a science lab, obviously a mess hall, a sick bay, um, you know, and then I'm guessing that's probably another docking port there. Same on the other side. Uh, and then you've got whatever this is, um, maybe more communications and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, overall, a nice thing, but did we need it in the collection? I think, honestly, I think you could probably miss this, and you wouldn't be, unless, like me, you're a completionist, and I have to, re um, you know, review them. Um, it's not very stable in the stand. Let me just move it out a bit. As you can see, it's a bit wobbly, unless I'm doing it wrong. Um, unless I'm doing it wrong. Uh, ah, there we go. There's like a little, there's like a little notch built into the stand there, and you put the bulkhead sign in it. Yeah, that makes it a little bit more... Yeah, that makes it a lot more solid. Yeah, I never noticed that before. That's interesting. Well, then we've got the uh, Real Estate Station 47 on the base there. Um, so, yeah, it's 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 good. I, I, don't get me wrong. I'm not dissing the model itself, but the choice of model, if that makes sense. Um, sorry, let's move everything out of the way. Oh, that's for other things. <laughs> yes, professionally and professionally. You should know this by now. So yeah, um, you know, overall, I do like it. I think it's, I think it's worthy for your collection. But if you think it's a miss, then by all means, it's a miss, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, for the price as well. I mean, luckily, I managed to pay um, not a lot for it because it was on. I got I managed to get. Um, I think it was thirty percent off or forty percent off or something like that. Um, yeah, only get this. Don't pay full price for this. Only get this if you can get a, a discount code. Um, because right now they're flooding me with discount codes. I just don't have the money to get them. So yeah. So anyway, so that's me. That's Real Estate Station 47. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, if you like what I do, um, please like, share, and subscribe. Cost you nothing, adds to the channel. Uh, and I've noticed um that 53% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. Why not? Just hit that subscribe button, it takes two seconds, and hit that notification bell. It will tell you when I've got new content out, like this video. Um, and so, and if you really like what I do, why not consider donating to my Patreon? There's some cool rewards over there. Um, please check them out. Uh, if you, if you think that, you know, I could use some, some of your lovely help, um, by all means donate. If not, then please subscribe at the very least. I uh, appreciate anybody who, who donates to me and big shout out to my, um, um, sub, um, my Patreons, Ian Swift and Stephen Ayres. Uh, without you guys, I couldn't make these videos, so thank you so much. It means a lot. Um, and please check back in a, about a week's time. I should have a Transformer review. Yes, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll do a Transformers review. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.